Hey guys, welcome back to another Red Beard Outdoors episode. Been gone for quite some time now, um, away from YouTube, and I just kind of wanted to give you guys a little update on what we've been up to this year and how the uh, full-time RV is going. As you guys saw in my last video, I was fishing down in Grand Lake in April, and I got to fish there for about, oh, I think it was like 13 days before my wife was in a terrible accident. My goal was to spend about a month down at Grand Lake fishing until I got the dreaded phone call from my wife telling me that she ripped her hamstring off of her pelvis bone. So my trip came to a pretty quick stop and I ran up to Topeka and went and checked on her in the hospital. The hospital that she was at was not equipped to uh, deal with a surgery like that and so pretty much they drugged her up and sent her home back to Manhattan. They did give us a referral to KU Med so we went to Manhattan for a few days and then uh, later that week we went back to Kansas City and went to KU Med where she had a surgery to reattach her hamstring to her pelvis bone. Here's a visual aid to kind of show you guys how that tear happened. Uh, it was so painful she ended up blacking out from the pain. The surgery pretty much consisted of drilling holes in her ischium and pulling her hamstring pretty much unrolled it back out and sewed it back to her hip bone there. And that is how the surgery worked. We went back to Manhattan where Kelly recovered for a couple weeks until she had to be in Colorado for her sister's wedding. So we hightailed it over to Brighton, Colorado area and went to her sister's wedding. And then shortly after that, we went over to Loveland, Colorado where she could be around family and I could have some help with, uh, you know, taking care of her and dealing with her injuries. We spent somewhere close to two months in Colorado and then afterwards after she started getting better we decided to kind of go visit my family so we went to uh, Scott City Kansas unfortunately we had another tire blowout outside at Denver on the same exact tire that we've been blowing out recently that's tire number two right now but we managed to limp into Scott City with our tire situation when we were at Scott City, we got to hang out with my brother, uh, my nephew, and his wife, and had a good time. After Scott City, we ran back to Grand Lake, where we hung out with my parents for a week. After Grand Lake, Kelly was doing a lot better, and my life became a little bit more easier, at which point I started to pick up the camera a little bit more, and I started filming again. So we left Grand Lake and headed for Olathe, Kansas, where we stayed at a friend's house. They had a very nice front gate with very little room for our very big rig to turn into. So getting in there was pretty challenging, but after maybe 30 to 45 minutes, we ended up getting in there and getting parked. We were only here for one day, but while we were here, I uh, worked and Kelly had to go to Topeka and Overland Park for doctor's appointments. Getting out of the gate was a little bit easier, but still somewhat difficult. But this time it went a lot faster. From Olathe, we ended up jogging up north to go visit my sister and her family. I got to spend some time with my nieces and nephews. I was kind of lucky enough to spend my birthday with my parents, my brother, and my sister. Unfortunately, at all different times, but at the time around my birthday, so I haven't done that for years. 
while we were in St. Joe, we stayed at Sharp RV Park. It was a very nice RV park and very affordable. Uh, I really enjoyed staying there. We kind of had to weather out some really high heat, upwards to around a, a heat index of 117. So it was really hot that week. I'm glad we had full power hookups and were able to stay somewhat cool while we were there. It had a really nice fishing pond. Unfortunately, uh, not very many fish were in there but still I got to do a little fishing while I was there. Come on. Keep going. It's good. After we finished up at St. Joe, we made our way back to Manhattan, and then we went to our storage unit, where we had to get ready to travel to summer camp. And what we did to our horse trailer is we, we like to convert it from not having horses to having horses, because half the year we don't travel with horses, and so... We take a lot of stuff out and we put a lot of stuff in, so it's just a, a kind of a long process there to convert uh, to our method to having horses back in the trailer. We were only in Manhattan for about a day when we loaded up, grabbed two horses, and headed to summer camp near Ainsworth, Nebraska. For those of you that don't know what summer camp is, it's where we condition our horses and bird dogs for the field trialing season coming up this fall. We made it to our horse hotel here outside of Rapid City. We had another blowout. It's our third blowout on the same ac tire axle. Not sure what the deal is, but we're gonna have to take it into a shop and get it figured out. But this one right here blew out again. I'll show you the shrapnel. Pretty much the last two times 
it's it's blowing the tread off the tire so i don't know if i'm not getting my inflation numbers correct or what i'm not sure what the deal is but we're gonna take it to the trailer shop and try to get figured out there is a super moon tonight first one and the next one you can't see until 37 years from now so let's see if we can go check that out This is a really nice horse hotel, so we're going to give you a tour of the barn here. Um, pretty nice amenities for the horses. This horse hotel is called JJ Arena. trailer shop and our hitch used to be somewhere down here roughly five inches lower which equated to a difference of seven inches of trailer angle and we brought it down seven inches and got got it down to a three inch difference from front of the trailer to the back of the trailer and so we were on such a bad angle that we think that was the cause that was blowing out those tires repetitively like all the weight was on that, that tire there wasn't a balance issue or anything um, we were just solely basing it off the of approach angle there so we got a whole new brand new hitch which technically this is our third one unfortunately and uh, it's not brand new but uh, some cuts were made it was cut up top here so it fits in the tube and then a new hole was drilled that's how shallow we had to make this thing so it's not really the hitch type that I like either but you know we just took what we got so uh, hopefully this works stay tuned
we had a ton of stuff to do in Rapid City. We ended up getting a new tire and got the hitch worked on, like I mentioned, and got a spare tire uh, for backup. Our GPS took us a back way uh, to head north, and we weren't happy about it until we ended up driving past the Buffalo Chip, and we also ended up driving past Full Throttle Saloon near Sturgis. So it was kind of cool to drive past those. It was kind of a neat accident. We continued driving north and right outside of Buffalo, South Dakota, we had another blowout. So we're on blowout number four right now. We think that this was residual from the other tire blowing out. So once one blows, another one takes all the weight and it's probably going to blow about 200 miles later and that's kind of exactly what it did so um, unfortunately we were hung up at Buffalo South Dakota for half a day uh, luckily everyone in Buffalo South Dakota is really nice and helped us out and uh, it was a Sunday so a lady came in and to the only tire shop in town and helped change a tire for us so we were very grateful for that once we finished up there we kept driving we drove into the night got to our spot in montana really really late it was probably like 4 a.m by the time we went to bed so it was a very very long trip luckily it was on labor day and i didn't have to work so yeah, between the accident and all the tire blowouts, we've had a pretty crazy summer and spring, and that's kind of why we've been MIA lately. Make sure you stay tuned. Uh, we went hunting in Montana and did really well and has some really good footage there. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next Redbeard Outdoors episode. Remember, get outdoors and keep trucking. I'll catch you guys on the next one.